Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you how to do something that's super awesome in kind of the meta right now in PvP inside of Ark. Now, if you haven't seen it before, basically with the lack of movement speed that exists inside the game, because they totally got rid of it, there is a new kind of meta when it comes to your PvP characters. You've essentially got health tanks, and then the other option is your basically your melee bola bobs. Now, the melee bolo bob is kind of a fun little thing to do. Basically, you just increase your speed by using the consumables, and then you crank up your melee damage to whatever you want it to be. And then you essentially bola things and do an insane amount of damage with the timer, because it's about 20 seconds that you can't move with the bola on. And as soon as you bola something, it's game over. Not even close, right? It's, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use a primitive hatchet and show you what I mean by that. So basically, we're going to pretend this Pteranodon is someone that we're trying to bola. You essentially wind up your bola, get nice and close to whatever that is, and then you're just going to hatch it to death as soon as you get close. Now, obviously, you can see this is a primitive hatchet, and with increased melee inside of Ark, you do a ridiculous amount of damage. I would highly encourage you to bring a pike with you, however, because having a pike can be very useful. Uh, because it's got a knockback ability and you can actually do damage from a little bit further away, right? So you can actually poke someone with damage and not have to worry about getting super close. So if I was to, for example, bola this thing right here, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I got the bola off on it. I'm going to go ahead and start piking. If I hit for the midsection, it's still going to do 376 a swing. However, if you aim for the head of the character that literally can't move, you can do an insane amount of damage. Even just to armor right now, you can see this is through armor. I'm still doing 80 a shot, and it's going to eventually break that armor. And if it, if you really want to, you can actually also, once you've got something bolded, you can go ahead and use a Battle Tartar. That Battle Tartar is going to give you an additional 30% melee on top of it. So you can see that our, uh, yeah, 30% 30, 30 I think is what it is, maybe 50%, something like that. Um, and that Battle Tartar can essentially just do an insane amount of damage. You can also switch it off with the Enduro Stew, which will also give you some increased melee damage. You can see that right there. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So you got 129 for that one. And then the Enduro Stew, you're looking at 104. And then if I go ahead and pop the this guy right here, 129. And then if I go ahead and switch it off, it's basically a slight difference. But it also gives you a movement speed for both of them, which is kind of nice, obviously. And then you can pop a, just like you see me doing right now, you'll be able to run anything down in the entire game with the Battle Tartar, as well as the uh, Focal Chili. You basically move at two times normal people speed, so they are literally not going to be able to outrun you. It's an incredible little trick, and all you have to do is carry a couple of bolas and the best spear that you have. Now, even if you're unable to bola somebody with the speed you have, you can essentially move and just like you see me doing right now, you can sprint stab. Um, and basically, because you're able to move at two times the speed of everyone else, nobody is going to be able to outrun you. And again, bolas are useful because if someone's using a pteranodon, you can bola the pteranodon as it comes to pick you and then use that pike and you will be able to destroy people. Now, this is a primitive pike that does this much damage but it's a very useful technique for PvP to basically use this kind of melee build with the bolas. As long as you've got some decent armor, you will win just about every foot combat that you get into, especially with the cryopods being something that's very difficult to actually just pop out a, a Gigantosaurus or a Rex on somebody. Most people are moving around on their faster, smaller sized tames. So this is a fantastic trick that you can use to shock a lot of people in PvP. Now, also in PvE, if you haven't had a lot of fun with this, you can basically increase that movement speed and do Ola just about anything in the game and then just run down a beach and just pike everything. It's it's a lot of fun. I don't know why. It just seems to be super entertaining. So the generic stats that you want to hit for this, you probably want about 500 melee. And then the rest, you probably want to pump between health and stamina because that 500 melee plus those two different uh, those stews that are going to increase your speed, just so you can see them all down here. The Focal Chili increased 50% movement speed and Battle Tartar will give you increased movement speed as well. Now, the Battle Tartar, however, is going to drain your health, so you can actually turn it off by uh, consuming an Enduro Stew. And that Battle Tartar buff will get removed and you'll still have the plus 50% move speed. So a very big difference. The Battle Tartar is going to give you plus 50% damage, and then the Enduro Stew will give you plus 30% damage. You can kind of toggle between the two of them. 
but it's a really strong build, especially right now, because people can't cryopod whenever they feel like it. They have to have a cryo fridge down. So definitely check out this build. It's a lot of fun and uh, it's, it's just entertaining. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.